In this lab, we learn to use that previously standardized solution to determine the concentration of an unknown acid. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the mass of oxalic acid dihydrate needed to prepare 300 milliliters of 0 0.3500 moles per liter of oxalic acid solution. So we're going to start with our given, which is 0 0.3500 zero zero moles per liter so we have molarity and we also know that we have 300 milliliters of the solution and we want to go to grams of oxalate acid dihydrate So we should start off by converting milliliters to liters since that's how we're going to get moles per liter and then ultimately to grams. So we will have 300 milliliters and we're going to times that by one liter and divide it by a thousand milliliters because that would cross out milliliters and leave us with 0.3 liters. So then after we go from milliliters to liters, we're going to go to moles and then finally to grams. So we can rewrite this equation that we just did. And then our next step is going to take our given moles per liter. over one liter and that would cross out liters and give us moles and now we're going to go to grams so we're going to take the grams uh, the total mass of the oxal the oxalic acid dehydrate which is 126 grams and we're going to put that over one mole. And then that would cross out moles and leave us with grams. So the way to find um, the, the molar mass of oxalic acid dihydrate is to take um, the molar mass of each of these elements and add them together. So after adding all of the mol uh, molar mass numbers together, we get 126 grams. So then I'm going to calculate this in my calculator. So we know already that this equation equals to 0.3 liters and we're going to times that by 0.35 and we're going to times that by 126 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate and that would leave us with Thirteen point twenty three grams. Of oxalic acid dihydrate. So the mass of oxalic acid dihydrate needed to prepare 300 milliliters of 0 0.3500 moles per liter of oxalic acid solution would be 13.23 grams. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next lab.